Financial services are rapidly evolving with the emergence of mobile payments and point-of-sale systems. These technologies allow customers to pay for goods and services in a convenient and secure manner without having to carry around cash or credit cards. Square, now renamed Block, empowers businesses to receive card payments, particularly those that seemed impossible in the past. With its technology and innovation, individual consumers have similarly benefited by improving their money management. Welcome to Forwolution, a space where business stories inspire exceptional people. In the early days, Jim McKelvey was in the business of selling artisanal glass faucets. At once, a prospective customer has selected and confirmed the purchase of his glass faucet. The sale process was looking positive until the customer's credit card was rejected. It turned out that the transaction was abandoned. Jim thought the loss of sale was unfortunate simply because of the credit card payment rejection. He was frustrated and eager to do something to fix it before it happened again. Without hesitation, he brought up the relevant topic and talked to one of his friends, Jack Dorsey, co-founder of Twitter. Both of them identified that small businesses need a payment system built to protect them from being taken advantage of when accepting payments. When it comes to payments, the costs are hidden but a major expense for small businesses. It could be in a range between the initial 2-3% payment and several additional fees on top of it. In February 2009, Jim and Jack decided to solve the problem and set up a new company, Square. Their main idea was to target mobile devices and smartphones by turning them into a point-of-sale system that simplified the entire process. With a strong sense of entrepreneurship, Jack even envisioned a world where payments are effortless and efficient, creating easy communication between merchants and customers. Rather than creating a standalone payment solution, they were focused on the payment experience. Jack cleverly wrote an article with the title, 140 Reasons Why Square Will Fail, to draw attention to his company, followed by counter-arguments that showcased the potential of his venture. His list of Square's potential flaws convinced investors to give him a chance, allowing his idea to take shape. Everyone was fascinated by the demo of Square Reader and its mobile app, which showcased its true capabilities. Unsurprisingly, Square successfully raised $10 million in Series A funding. Shortly, its website and first product were officially unveiled. The Square Reader was a small, square piece of hardware that could be plugged into mobile devices. It provided users an alternative way to receive physical credit card payments through their mobile phones. Most importantly, it was offered without any subscription fees or lock-in contracts. Square had incredible accomplishments in its first two years, delivering 500,000 readers and processing over $1 billion in payments. The milestone was achieved by word of mouth without the help of a sales team. This proves the crucial need for their product. Following a surge in popularity, Square took the opportunity to perfect their product for expansion. Meanwhile, Square had drawn the attention of Visa, the world's leading payment and credit card provider. Visa was attracted by Square's performance and the invaluable information about the potential of a fintech company. Certainly, Visa also intended to benefit from its share of Square's investment. The capital funding was finally completed with Visa, Sequoia Capital, and Kosla Ventures. Within a short period of time, the company's innovative products, Square Wallet and Square Register, were released. Square Wallet is a mobile financial app that was created to replace physical cards and could be used as an efficient substitute. Users had the convenient possibility of linking their Square Wallet with their debit and credit cards. This allowed them to make payments for regular purchases without ever bringing their physical wallets. Square Register is a modern alternative to traditional cash register systems. It is an excellent point-of-sale system integrated with tablets as the hardware to receive payments. Merchants praised its design and portability. In 2012, Square entered into an agreement with Starbucks to become its exclusive card processor in the chain of coffee stores. As part of the deal, Starbucks also invested $25 million in Square, giving the company a valuation of over $3 billion. This is an exclusive partnership that would have long-term positive effects for both Square and Starbucks. 
Next year, Square Stand, Square Cash, and Square Market were simultaneously introduced to the general public. The Square Stand is an advanced version of a point-of-sale system that turns the Apple iPad into a complete and efficient checkout solution. On the other hand, Square Cash is a mobile phone application that initially functioned as a peer-to-peer -peer payment platform. With a debit account, it allows users to transfer money to one another. The most significant advantage of its use was the instant fund processing, which enabled funds to be sent and received instantly. Square Cash eventually replaced Square Wallet by providing a better customer experience. Furthermore, Square Market is a powerful tool that helps businesses tap into larger markets. It enabled sellers to create an online store and use Square for their payment processing. Afterwards, Square Capital was unveiled, marking a new chapter in the company's history. It has been a revolutionary new financing solution, offering businesses the opportunity to access cash advances with no hidden fees. By leveraging the power of Square's technology and data insights, merchants can now increase their cash flow and grow their business. It was later renamed Square Loans. Meanwhile, the Square Reader has been upgraded. This reader not only allowed physical credit card transactions but also enabled contactless and chip card payments on both Android and iOS devices. In 2015, Square took the leap and became a publicly traded company, listing on the New York Stock Exchange and raising capital to expand their operations. Then, Square Cash was transformed into the Cash App. Cash App has progressively enhanced its full potential by adding more features. It is an all-in-one app for users to save, spend, transfer, and invest with their money. Users can further access tax preparation services after acquiring Credit Karma tax. Square has strategically acquired several companies to contribute to their mission and offer more comprehensive services. An acquisition of Weebly was made. Weebly started out as a web hosting provider, but over the years has evolved to become a major player in website and e-commerce services. It has invested heavily in developing sophisticated tools that allow anyone to easily create beautiful websites and manage their online stores. Moreover, Square has acquired the majority ownership of Tidal. Tidal offers a subscription-based streaming service that includes music, podcasts, and videos with superior quality. Recently, Square completed the acquisition of Afterpay. Afterpay is a fast-growing, buy now, pay later platform that is revolutionizing the way customers buy products on a deferred payment basis. With this technology, retailers now have the ability to give customers more flexible payment options and open up their business to an entirely new customer base. This innovative platform is quickly becoming one of the most popular payment methods around the world, and its growth shows no sign of slowing down. The Afterpay platform will be integrated into the Cash app to maximize its value. In contrast, for merchants, Square is dedicated to empowering them with a complete set of features on an easy-to-use platform. Various digital tools have been added to help merchants optimize their business operations. Despite its success, the company had to face several negative criticisms along the way. The Cash App has experienced fraudulent activities that have caused harm to its customers. But the platform offered limited buyer protection, which made it difficult to challenge these scams. Young adults are known to use its digital payment services for illegal activities like drug transactions and gambling. In response, they managed to overcome these obstacles and continue on the right path. Now, Square has rebranded its company to Block. However, the name of its products has remained the same and is still referred to as Square. The company is building the Square ecosystem for businesses and the Cash App ecosystem for individual customers. By serving businesses and consumers worldwide, its latest revenue reached over $17 billion. The market value has surged more than 10 times since it was listed on the stock exchange. It was a business idea from the co-founder who was frustrated with the payment processing rejection that he personally experienced. So, what do you think of Square or Block? Do you have any experience with them? What kinds of products or services do you think they should provide in the future? Please comment. If you like the video, please leave us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and turn on all notifications. A new video will be released on a regular basis. Thank you for watching.